Now here, we need to multiply two multiples of 100, so that's two numbers that end in two zeros. First, we have 800 times 600, and we can use mental methods to solve this, because we know that 8 times 6 is 48, and that means that 800 times 600 must be 480,000. That's because after we've written our answer to 8 times 6, we can count the end zeros in our question. We have a total of 4 end zeros, 2 here and 2 here, and that means we need to write 4 end zeros in our answer. So that's 480,000. Now we have 500 times 900. We know that 5 times 9 is 45. So 500 times 900 is 450,000. That's because after we've done 5 times 9, we can count 4 end zeros in the question, so we know that we need 4 end zeros in our answer. Now for 700 times 700, we can work out that 7 times 7 is 49, and that will help us solve 700 times 700. We get 490,000, because again, after we've worked out 7 times 7, we just count the end zeros in our multiplication question, and make sure that our answer has the same number of end zeros. So that's 490,000. Now to see why this method works, remember 800 is 8 times 100, and we're multiplying by 600, which is 6 times 100. But remember, with multiplication, order doesn't matter. So we can do 8 times 6 first to get 48. Then we know that when we multiply by 100, digits move two place values to the left, and then we can write two zeros on the end in our tens and ones column. But now we need to multiply by 100 again. So again, we move the digits two place values to the left and write two more zeros. So that's why our answer is 480,000. Because 8 times 6 is 48, but then because we multiplied by 100 twice, we need four zeros on the end of 48. Now 500 is 5 times 100, and we're multiplying by 900, which is 9 times 100. Again, we can multiply in any order, and 5 times 9 is 45. When we multiply by 100, digits move two squares across, and we're multiplying by 100 again, so we need to move the digits another two place values across to give us our answer 450,000. Now 700 is 7 times 100, and we're multiplying by 700, so by 7 times 100 again. 7 times 7 is 49. Multiplying by 100 means we put two zeros on the end of our number, but then multiplying by 100 again means we need another two zeros on the end of our number. And that's why our answer is 7 times 7, but then with four zeros on the end. 